So there are, I guess, four tiers of payphones in New York, or maybe five. There's the uh, City Bridge sidewalk phones. Then there's the PTS <clears throat> phones, which are found in subways, Broadway theaters, and in some of the parks. The airport payphone scene. I don't know what I don't know what that's about now. Uh, I'm. You have to be ticketed to get into any of the areas where there are big phones, and I've only traveled by plane once in the last two years, and it was the new Delta terminal, which didn't appear to have any. If there are, there are probably still phones there, and they're probably owned by GTEL, but I'll leave that up in the air. Then there are the prison phones, which aren't really, they're not coin-fed phones, they're uh, collect-call-only type of things, for the most part. And then there's this. <laughs> this is what I call a rogue payphone, and maybe I should come up with a less dorky name for it, but this is semi-illegal, probably illegal. The owner of this phone put it up without permission on what was at the time an abandoned uh, sports authority uh, sporting goods store. Uh, but it was just out on the far edge of, of, the, of the property. And it was far enough out here that whoever actually owns the land probably just didn't care or didn't notice or couldn't be bothered with it. Now, if it was just five feet over to the left, it would be on a city sidewalk and that would make it illegal. So this is probably not legal. I remember this, the, the clamshell enclosure was empty for years. And then one day this phone appeared and there used to be a sign up here, the, the old phone sign. Uh, this is a solar powered sol uh, satellite phone rig. And you can see the solar panel up there. The, the phone sign is gone, but um, there's all the wiring and stuff that does what it does. So you pick, in the past, you'd pick this phone up and you'd hear a, a fake dial tone. I mean, it sounded real, but it was just a, a loop and like a AUG file or whatever, an MP3. But it used to work, but it hasn't worked in a long time, and now it's all fenced off, so even if it did, you couldn't get to it. So there you have a uh, pretty pretty much illegal installation of a phone that has been left to rot by its owner. <laughs>